Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kitchen Gadgets. If you notice something different, it's a friend. I have them. Esther Choi, right here. What's up, Cliff? What's up? Esther is also the chef owner of Mock Bar here in New York City and Miss You. What are we testing today, Esther? Here we go. <sighs> We're testing the rice cooker, of course. You do cook rice in your restaurant. I do cook rice in my restaurant and of course at home like every single day, but it's, it's also like, when you guys were like, hey, you're gonna test the rice cooker. I'm like, of course I am, of course. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's the, better, it's better you. Hey, I'll be that token Asian. You know? You know, I'm down with that. Speaking of token, we are testing two rice cookers. This one is from my house. It's the one I've had for 10 years. You may recognize it from certain college dorm rooms. That's ridiculous. I, ha I used to have that in college. It's the Aroma Rice Cooker. It's around 40, 40, 50 bucks. And we are testing it against the Ferrari of rice cookers with a price point of around $350. Yes. Looks like this one has white rice umami. That's a setting? Yes, that's a setting. Quick, which probably means like quick cook. Yeah. Brown rice, gaba brown rice. You can even pick the levels of like how you want your rice texture to be. So I actually don't think there is going to be enough of a difference to justify the crazy price point. Listen, this thing has a million functions. This has one. There's one switch on it that says go. Yeah. So we're gonna test it at its most basic function. Mm -hmm. So we have two cups, one part water versus one part rice. I rinsed it three times each till it ran clear. So You gave me a look. <laughs> yeah, I gave you a look because three times is not enough, Cliff. My mom told me the more you rinse it, the more, you know, purified you will be eating Oh, you know I was I doing, I, yeah. have, I have this certain hand movement. Okay, you did, did the hand movement. Yeah, yeah. So that's really important. Straight up. All right, let's put this in. The rice is going okay, in. rice is in. And two cups of water. We're gonna hit start. One, two, three. And I love that this sings to you. It does have a timer. 55 minutes going mm -hmm. here. This does not have a timer. How you know it's done is in the other room, we hear yeah, something that goes click. click. My opinion is yeah. why this is so worth it. If you mess up your ratio, it's okay. It's very forgiving. The second thing is that you have all these options, right? Third thing is to make it 10 days before you're actually gonna eat it. And it'll wait, 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 explain that. Because it keeps warm. Right after it cooks, it'll change the uh, setting to warm and then it'll just keep in here for like days and days until the rice goes bad. This particular rice being Japanese short grain rice, um, it should be like slightly sticky but still like beautifully like pearly. Yeah. So you also know what Also I mean consistency. Consistency throughout like the entire top, thing. Top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Here's a little aside. Ian, here from Ohio, your roommate. Yeah. Has that guy? How often does your roommate use his rice cooker? He probably used it once. What's his name? His name is Brady. Brady. Bad Brady. Hashtag Brady. Please use your rice cooker. Sorry, Brady. What happened? I don't know what happened. See, now oh, it's, it's pressurizing. It sensed the moisture. Yeah, it sensed that it needs a little bit more water in there, so they're pressuring it now. So this one, it's just like steaming out. So I don't know how that's gonna cook. In. Oh, that's. Oh. Dark. But as anyone knows who has one of these things, that first click. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean anything. You gotta let it like hang out for another 10. Yeah. See, if someone bought that, how would they know that the rice, they, like they just heard the click. So they're like, okay, it's ready. I have a feeling that no one just buys this one blind. Like they already know. So Cliff, um, this started to steam. Oh, I don't know so, what that means. Um, it means that they're letting out some of that the steam, moisture? But yeah, but it's still on pressure. So it's still pressuring, but they're letting some of the moisture out. The big thing with a lot of these products is like mm -hmm. the cleanup. This one, honestly. Has the sticky layer on the bottom. Yeah, it has the sticky layer on the bottom, which is a freaking pain in the ass to you like. Throw it in the sink, you yeah. let it soak for a minute. Uh -huh. and then... You have to like scrub it. Whereas this one, it's like the non-stick, literally, when you, you don't even have to wash it because it's that clean and perfectly. It sings to you. That's lovely. Rice is ready. It gets you like excited. It's like, oh my God, my rice is done. For the grand reveal, let's open it up and see. I mean, that's looking pretty good. I mean, it's sick. Oh, no stick no on the stick. bottom. Each, Each grain is very individual. None of the grains break. You ready for this guy? I mean, look, hey, hey. I mean, it's not terrible. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, but it's mushy. So here we go. It's mushy. That's mm. very mush. And look, it's scorched here. So it's uneven. <laughs> if we're talking about perfection right now. We are talking about perfection. Yeah, I'm I, just. I see brown parts in there. Like this part is obviously like a little bit harder yeah. than like this part, right? This guy is a little wider. Mm -hmm. It's more full. We have some that are not as full. Here, they all are really even. Mm -hmm. Let's taste this one first. Okay. It's a little mushy. It's uneven, straight up. If someone brought that to me, I would be like, bad rice. Bad rice. Oh god, even the texture coming out is already different. I mean, that's, yeah. That's really good It's rice. so different. I know that you're, some of you are sitting at home and being like, what Just the rice. That's rice. But for someone who actually like does a lot of rice dishes and really cares about this thing, and someone who eats rice on a regular basis, this is a, it's a Cute. noticeable difference. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of like that low and slow thing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, this took maybe almost double the time, but there's a reason for that, and sometimes you have to be a little bit patient for perfection. I thought this had a chance because I guess you learn to cope with the inconsistencies uh -huh. for so long. This is, this is like that old pickup truck that you know you have to like kick three times and then you have to move the stick shift left and right. We do understand that the Zoji Rushi does make better rice than Old Blue, the aroma. But does it make the $300 investment on top of this? I would say if you're cooking rice at least twice a week. Because mm -hmm. then you span that out over a course of a few years and you're just getting Yeah, exactly. So I guess basically, if you've ever had a conversation to talk about the consistency of rice, that's your guy. Mm -hmm. But Brady. maybe if you're Brady from Ohio, who's Ian's roommate, who buys the expensive one but never makes rice, maybe Brady you should have got this one. Verdict, Zoji Rushi is the winner. Esther, thank you. Thank you. If you want to see the food that uh, Esther cooks, click here. It's weird, I feel like it's my duty to my country and to my culture to sort of like be that person to take it to the next.